The first example of a monitored PRV we will review today is the Anderson Greenwood High Pressure Pilot with the Rosemont 2051 Differential Pressure Transmitter. The Rosemont Differential Pressure Transmitter monitors the differential pressure between the valve inlet and the main valve dome. Below set pressure or opening pressure of the valve, dome pressure will equal the inlet pressure and no pressure will be measured by the transmitter. As system pressure increases during an event and reaches the valve's opening set pressure, the pilot opens and dumps the pressure in the dome, allowing the main valve to open and relieving the system's overpressure. At this point, the dome pressure will be less than the inlet and the DP transmitter will sense pressure difference and send a signal indicating the valve opened and a relief event occurred. With an understanding of the pressure change between the valve inlet and the dome, a valve's lift and the volume of the immediate release during the event can be determined. In this example, we will illustrate a real-time graph of an overpressure event with a differential pressure transmitter mounted to a high-pressure pilot relief valve. On the vertical axis, you will see the system pressure shown in green and the differential pressure reading of the valve's dome to inlet in blue. The right graph shows the percentage of the valve's lift over time and is calculated based upon the valve size and differential pressure. As the system's pressure increases, as indicated by the green line, the differential pressure of the valve begins to increase and is called the valve's crack pressure. With a further increase in system pressure and differential pressure, the valve dome will be further reduced and allow the valve to fully open, relieving the overpressure event. You will notice a similar waving pattern in all the graphs, which indicates that this valve is a modulating design. Once again, as system pressure is reduced to below the valve set point, the valve will close and system pressure reduced to a normal operating pressure.